Hi. Hello. My name is Amber. My name is Otis. My name is Aiden. And today we will be talking about insignificant events in life of cactus by Dusty Bowling. So would you like to know a fun fact? Have a look, please. Yeah. So, the author Dusty Bowling, when she was a child, she saved oh, yeah. a baby oh, rabbit from go. a snake. Here you go. Here you go. She beat the snake with a stick, <laughs> and it, and you know this all happened in a Dusty Bowling. Oh! No. <laughs> or, or you know, um, as it known, as it's known as like a, a desert, yeah. but a dusty bowl. I'm not straying away from the author. And the title. Rabbit. Think of the title. Oh yeah, wait. Why is it called Events in the Life of a Cactus? Yeah, it's kind of it, weird. Yeah, it's like it, it doesn't really. Even though it's sort of set in a desert, because Arizona. Like it's really interesting because when I was reading the first chapter, I was completely like, hey. Because like, the book. Yeah, like, like, no, yeah. No, no, read the back. Significant events in the life of a cactus. Yeah. So I thought it was like, stop <laughs> taking the book away from me. Aiden. I need to. Aiden. Even is a pretty hilarious and inspiring protagonist. Exactly. So when I read that, I back, thought it was like. Yeah. I thought it was from the perspective of a cactus. Yeah, like, wish tree. So I, I didn't realize that it was actually from the perspective of a human girl without arms until like chapter five. Oh, it took you chapter five. It already. took me till chapter five. I took chapter ten. Like but like why do you think it's called like insignificant events like didn't she like play a cactus in a in a drama show oh yeah that could be why kind of but once she was there <laughs> she was just thinking i must be so insignificant into the life of this cactus oh because that cactus is huge it's old and it's probably seen many people die many people live many people pass by it and Avon's just this tiny little speck that they won't remember. Insignificant. Insignificant. So there's this famous quote, like that goes like, I think something like, we are the sum of our experiences. Oh yeah, yeah. Something yeah. like that, it's like, like it's really cool because, well, we all are like, whatever happens to us becomes us. Like not just changes like the way we live, but also changes like the way we think. But not it's like for example, if Avon hasn't, mm-hmm didn't like move to Arizona, maybe she'd think differently, right? Because she's she sort of still experienced be... things in Arizona that she wouldn't have yeah, experienced if she, anyhow. If, what if she didn't meet Connor? Yeah, yeah no, right? she didn't meet Connor, and she wouldn't have find, found out her true parental life. And lineage. not just that, is that she gets like, a, she finally realizes who quote unquote she is, like a yeah, image like of herself. In, 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 like in what? She, because at her old school, people yeah. didn't, people didn't, people didn't really judge. notice her. She was no, 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 they didn't really judge her. Yeah, because so they were sort of school, used to her. And people are like, oh my god, is your armlessness contagious? Or something like that? I don't know where that I, actually I, I came think, from. I think living in like a dusty bowl ch- changed, like, ch- changed. <laughs> no, no, I think it changed perspective. Because, like, you know, like, right. like, like before you see, like, you know, rolling grass plains, now you see, like, just like desert, like, dust, you know, plains, mm, bowls. <laughs> no, I think it does change perspective. Because it, like, it's like the grand scale. Yeah, but what do you think would have happened if, like, Avon did move to Arizona but didn't go to Stagecoach Pass? Like, they moved there because, yeah, they're bored. She would have never, place. not just, like, she would have never, because this whole, like, this whole thing, she's just realizing her own identity, right? Like, she never, she wouldn't have had an image of who she is. She wouldn't, she wouldn't know how, how people's, like, thoughts would have affected her. You guys are totally laughing for no apparent reason. And she also wouldn't, she would have never known who she was and who, what her past was. Yeah, I think I agree right? with that actually. You're past agree with that. You know, knowing, knowing n- not just that, that like your past affects you, but not but knowing about your past affects you. Yeah. So one question I had is like, how do you cope if you had like no arms? If you're born without arms. I do what Avon does. Yeah. I, 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 how do you cope? I don't know. I I feel like, oh no. Yeah, I'm with that. You'd be the queen of Sheba. No, I just feel like very sad. I'd be big sad. He'd be. So let's end with a nice little quote from the book. I'm saying it this time again. Yeah, I got over being the Queen of Sheba pretty quickly, I said. I can see that, said Connor. And with that, he spit his mouthful of mashed potatoes right into my face. Amazing quote. Okay. So anyways. Um, tell us what you think of and, this book and like. And how would, how would you, you Yeah, exactly. How would you cope? Would you be like Avon or would you be depressed like Otis? Or would you I'm just not depressed. <laughs> And today we'll be talking about um, insignificant insig- events in the life of a cactus by Dusty Bowling. Do not repeat that Dust Bowl joke, okay? So you're gonna, you're gonna take the book away from so, uh, him. So would you like the a book fun away from him. fact? Good, good, good. When the okay, author okay, was no, ten no, years no, no, old, no, no, I'll say, I'll say, I'll, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say. Why would it be set in like a, it's it, it's okay? It's in a desert, but why would it be called cactus? <laughs> Why? I've broken, guys. I've broken. 
Anyway, that type of cactus, they're huge. They're old. They can live really long, like, like they can re- live really long lives. And she saw one, and she was just sitting inside and just like... Like a turtle. She was just thinking... <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. what? So they're know. huge, they're big, they can live for a long time. Two yeah. turtles. <laughs> but hey, it's logical, I'm not talking about it. Fine, fine. But like, yeah. What do you think Avon, like, what would have happened if Avon didn't, like, go to Arizona or didn't go to stage code? Per- Why is Otis taking the books? <laughs> Otis has no attention span, as we've noted before. <laughs> like, zero attention span. See, Otis is influencing him. <laughs> The Bad influences. <laughs> Bad influences. <laughs>